Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the second episode in my WW barbecue grilling series. What is more barbecue grill related than burgers? So tonight I'm going to be sharing with you a phenomenal WW friendly hamburger recipe using real ground beef on a bun that is WW friendly. We're gonna pair that with some delicata squash and I'm gonna be showing you the recipe for the copycat KFC coleslaw. My husband loved, loved the burgers and the coleslaw. So if you wanna see what I have in store for you for the second episode of my WW barbecue series, all you have to do, keep watching. So for tonight's barbecue dinner, we are going to be making some burgers. We're also going to be making some coleslaw and we're gonna roast up some delicata squash. So first, let me show you what is in our burgers. So you're going to need a pound of extra lean ground beef. So this is 96.4. You're also going to need some salt, garlic powder and pepper, white vinegar, sugar and i'm just going to use regular sugar because it is such a small amount in this recipe you'll need some steak sauce and of course i'm going to be putting my burger on my trusty smart bun these are the one smart point hamburger buns they are so good my favorite way to eat these is actually to grill them on the barbecue so what i'll do is spray them with a little bit of i can't believe it's not butter spray and i'll toss this on the barbecue for the last few minutes these burgers again are only one smart point they are gluten-free they have zero carbs non-gmo let me show you what the actual bun looks like so they are a full size hamburger bun and again they are only one smart point. You can get these buns on smartbakingco.com. If you use the screen here on the screen or the discount code here on the screen, you can save yourself 10%. So that is super exciting. So the best price is on their website directly. And that is the Smart Baking Co. website. Use my discount code, save 10%. This is also the same company that has the Smart Cakes. So while you're placing an order, you can add a few Smart Cakes to your order as well. And all of the discount information and the link is down in the description box below. So next with dinner, we're going to be having some coleslaw. So I have some duplicate ingredients that we're going to need for the coleslaw as well as the hamburger. So of course you're going to need some coleslaw. If you get the kind without carrots, you're going to need some carrots as well. You're either going to need some fresh chopped up onion or some minced onion. We also need some sugar, which I have set aside for the burger. You're going to need some ground white pepper, some salt and regular pepper also, which is set aside for the burger. I'm going to be using fat free half and half in place of the whole milk that the recipe calls for. You're also going to need some light mayo and you're going to need some lemon juice. And that is it. So this is what we have in the KFC copycat coleslaw recipe. And then I'll get the delicata squash ready and show you that as well. So this is what we're grilling tonight. Here is the delicata squash that I'm going to be using. This is directly from Trader Joe's. It is already cut up, ready to go. Delicata squash is a winter or fall item, so you can't usually buy it past that time of year. But Trader Joe has it here raw, and I believe they also sell it frozen. You actually eat the rind right off of the squash. It is my favorite, favorite thing. So we're going to put some of this together for dinner as well. So to get started on our hamburgers, I've went ahead and added my one pound of extra lean ground beef to my bowl. To that, I am going to be adding in all of the rest of my ingredients. This is what is going to season our meat. So I didn't show you, which was my mistake, but you are going to need a quarter cup of ketchup. What I used is the reduced sugar ketchup. I am calculating my points based on that. So if you use a regular sugar, make sure that you calcu calculate the points according to that. You are also going to need two tablespoons of steak sauce. So there is that. This is just a one. You can use any steak sauce to your liking. And then we also need one teaspoon of sugar. So again, I'm just using regular sugar only because it is such a small amount in this recipe. And then we also need one teaspoon of vinegar. So this is just 
distilled white vinegar. And then for liquid, the last thing that we're going to be adding is just one tablespoon of water. For our spices, we have garlic powder. Now I do not measure my spices, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add them in here to my bowl. I'm also going to add some salts. And I'm also going to go ahead and add some black pepper. So then you're gonna give this a nice mix with your spoon. Get that all nice and incorporated into the meat. And then we will measure out four equal size patties. We want each patty to be four ounces, which is of the Trader Joe's hamburger, only two smart points before the ingredients here that we've added to our meat. So give that a nice stir and then we'll get ready to break this into four equal patties. So once your meat is combined, you can even go ahead and get in there with your hands and get that nice and combined with all those ingredients into our hamburger. And then we are going to split this into two sections and then split that two sections into an additional two sections. And that should give us just about the right size for our hamburger patties. You also can weigh these out on a food scale to make sure that they are four ounces, which is what I will do before we pop them onto the barbecue. Make sure that they are all evenly sized. So then you're gonna put those onto a plate and we're ready to get these on the grill. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and get our delicata squash in some foil and also ready to go onto our grill. But these hamburgers smell really good. They smell nice and flavorful with all those fun ingredients that we added. Next, we're gonna get our delicata squash ready to go onto the barbecue. So here I have my entire bag. We're gonna cook this in a foil packet. So I'm just going to spread my delicata squash out onto a piece of foil. And again, remember you do eat the rind, so literally it is ready to go out of the Trader Joe's bag. I do wanna to try to get it spread out pretty evenly so that all of the pieces have the opportunity to cook. To that, I'm gonna go ahead and add my favorite spice for veggies. And this is the Dax Citrus Grove. This is so good. This is a no salt spice full of flavor all real ingredients nothing artificial none of Dax spices have salt so it's great if you're watching your sodium intake their spices are delicious i do have a link and a 10 percent discount code down in the description box so if you're looking for some really good all real ingredient no salt added spices Dex is the way to go. So I'm just going to liberally sprinkle that because it is zero points, zero calories, on to my delicata squash. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and our delicata squash will be ready to go. So for a foil pack, you have one sheet on the bottom, one sheet on the top. And again, you're just going to roll up your edges. And this is really the best way to cook any veggie on the grill. Just roll up your edges nice and tight to basically create a pocket or a sleeve for your vegetables. And when you do this, it makes them really, really easy to flip over when you're ready to flip them onto the other side for cooking. You just simply flip over your foil pack. So this is ready to go. And then next up, while our burgers and delicata squash is cooking, we're gonna get our coleslaw put together. So to get started on your coleslaw, the first thing you're going to do is take your bag of coleslaw and your carrots, if you ended up shredding carrots separately, and add that to a nice big bowl. And then you're also going to add your onion to your bowl as well. The recipe calls for about two tablespoons, so I'm going to do two, two tablespoons of minced. We're going to set this aside and then we're going to put together the rest of our ingredients. Next, we're going to make our mix for our coleslaw. So we are just going to dump everything into one bowl, whisk it together, and we'll add it to the coleslaw. So first, I have one third cup of stevia in the raw. I did decide to go ahead and use that only because it was one third cup, which is quite a lot of points of regular sugar, and I don't think that you're even gonna notice a difference. To that, I am gonna go ahead and add about the equivalent of half of a teaspoon of salt to my sugar. I love the pink Himalayan sea salt, it's my favorite. We're also going to be adding one eighth of a teaspoon of white 
pepper. Now, if you don't have white pepper, you can substitute regular white pepper, but white pepper just really has a really good, strong, delicious pepper flavor. I'm also going to add one quarter of a cup of fat-free half and half, and that is in place of the whole milk that the recipe calls for. I also have one half of a cup of light mayo. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. And then next we have one quarter of a cup of light buttermilk. And then I have two tablespoons of white vinegar and three tablespoons of lemon juice. And that is everything. We are going to give this a nice whisk together and then we will add it into our coleslaw mix. Now, with this coleslaw, the longer it sits in the refrigerator, the better, only because those flavors really get absorbed into the coleslaw. I didn't have time to let it sit for hours because I just got home from work and we are getting ready to barbecue dinner. So in the event that you can, I would recommend maybe letting this coleslaw sit a little bit longer in the fridge to really get all those flavors absorbed. So to put our coleslaw together, we're gonna go ahead and give our coleslaw and our minced onion just a quick stir, just to give it a nice mix. Make sure those onions get nice and mixed throughout the coleslaw. And then we are going to add in our coleslaw mix. And then of course, we'll give that a nice big stir. Make sure that all of that cabbage gets covered with the coleslaw mix. And then we are going to put this into the refrigerator. It'll probably be at least a half of an hour. Again, the longer it can be in the refrigerator, the better, the more flavorful that it will be. So my guess is tomorrow or the next day, your coleslaw is going to be even better. But I'm gonna put some saran wrap on this. I'll get this into the refrigerator. And then this is our coleslaw that we'll be having with our burgers and our delicata squash. Our burgers are cooking on the grill. Someone didn't spray the grill, so they're starting to fall apart a little bit, but they all taste the same, doesn't matter. And then there's our delicata squash on top, and we'll flip that over and get that nice and cooked, but these burgers look delish. So we just pulled the delicata squash off of the grill. I'm gonna go ahead and get the hamburgers put together, load up the plate with the burger, the squash, and the coleslaw. I'll show you the completed dinner and give you the smart points. So here's the completed barbecue dinner. So here I have my four ounces raw, so about two and a half to three ounces cooked of the 96.4 lean ground beef. By adding those other ingredients, it did not change the smart points. So that is a total of two smart points for the hamburger patty. I have one slice of the Jarlsberg light reduced fat Swiss cheese. This cheese for an entire slice is only one smart point. And then on my bun, I went ahead and added just a little bit of the no sugar added ketchup for zero. And my bun of course is the one smart point smart bun. So my hamburger is a total of two for the burger, one for the cheese, one for the bun. So that is an entire cheeseburger for four smart points. Over here I have my delicata squash for zero and one sixth of the KFC copycat coleslaw is only two smart points. Two smart points for coleslaw. So this entire barbecue dinner is only six smart points. Thank you for joining me on another episode of the WW Barbecue Grillin' Summer Series. I hope that you enjoyed seeing tonight's dinner. The hamburgers were delicious, the delicata squash, and of course, the coleslaw. Who doesn't love coleslaw, veggies, and burgers? So if you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe, hit that little notification bell. That way you're notified each and every time I upload a new video. I'd love it if you'd give this one a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of this series and if you're going to try out tonight's recipe. And of course, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.